Hello again YouTubers, um, <clears throat> I've got the ice bottles in, now I think that box is a 42 litre box, 36 or 42, I'm not sure, it's quite, I suppose it's quite reasonably large. Now bear in mind that the ice bottles, you can also use uh, them ice pack things if you want, uh, I don't think they're going to be as efficient as bottles, uh, or you could use plain ice or you could even just use cold water. Depends what you want, really, I suppose. But anyway, uh, I've put the bottles in. I've put 12 in. Um, I've actually put them in upside down this time so that uh, the tops are actually in the bottom, if you can understand that, so that the airflow, because the airflow is actually going around uh, at the top of this unit. So now they're going to go on the bottom of the bottles, which I think is probably going to give you a better uh, response. So uh, there's 12 bottles in there. I've just realised by putting them upside down, I could have actually got 14 bottles, bottles in there, you know, uh, neatly. Let's see if we can uh, access that. Let's have a look. Here we go. There's me 12 bottles. Yeah, inside the box. OK, now there's space for another two bottles. You can see that I've got them now upside down. Anyway, let's get on with it. We're here to do a job. So, I've got my thermometer. And let's power it up. First of all, number one, start it up. Rev it up. Come on, rev it up. No, let's do, let's do this properly. Number one. Now number two. Okay, now let's have a look at this. Can you see that? It is uh, 26.7 in here. That's the third one down. It's 28.9 outside. So, I mean, as I say, it's pretty cool, really. So let's just get this uh, thermometer on. Turn it on. It's on right now. Uh, just shove it in there. See what we can get. Uh, it's even got the 26, but it's going down already. I don't want to lose it. Come on. Can I rest that there? Let me see if I can hold this with my left hand. I don't want to stop it, and then because you won't believe me. Why? Oh, yeah. Weight on. That's not helpful. There we go. Right. Can you see that? 14.6, Still going nicely. Do you see what I mean? After this, I'm not going to stop the stop the video. But we'll go straight back to the other thermometer, you know, that, uh, what do you call it, station. Once you've got down, this down to the proper level, just to show you how cold this can get. As I say, it's a pretty cool day anyway today. Normally, you know, in this day, well, we're on the 20th of August, 2014. Uh, 20th of August in Extremadura. Madura, Spain. Now, as you can see, I'm not stopping the video. I'll walk straight back up to the station. And there we go. 26.7. Can you see that? Third one down. 29 outside. By the way, when I say outside, I've got to point out that we take our windows out in the summer. Yeah? So you've got the heat that comes straight in anyway. So anyway. So, let me just show you that again, so I'm not waffling, but I do waffle. 26.8, can you see that? Celsius, 15.50 at the top, that's the time, on the 20th of August, see that? 
And there we go. Let's go back. Where am I? Don't want to fall over. This is on mains, but not that that's a problem. Oh, it's gone up to 13.3. No. Oh well. So, as I say, I'm coming towards the end now. The end of my life. <laughs> no, uh, the end of my video. So, I plan to take all of this to bits and uh, do another project with it. But if anybody wants this, to prevent me from taking it to bits, then offer me millions of euros in my PayPal account. I'm quite happy to send it anywhere in the world. Obviously, it'd be pointless me sending the battery, or probably even the box. I mean, you can have that as well if you want. Uh, you know, it'd really just be the top unit. I mean, I'm sure you can get 42 litre boxes in your country. If you can't, then come here to Extremadura. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> hope you like the videos. Uh, it's my first real claim to fame, but I only did this for fun. Just for a laugh, a ha ha. Now, because I saw them all on uh, YouTube and I'm really into uh, doing things like this. So, uh, I'll see you on the next project. If you like it, please uh, tick. If you don't like it, um, oh, well, I don't know what to say. I don't know. It's up to you. It's just for a laugh, anyway. Thanks, everybody. And thanks for your time. And thanks for suffering me for all that time. I mean, my poor wife has suffered me since 1981. How? I don't know. But maybe it's because uh, I'm a stud muffin. No. Shut up. Thanks very much and bye-bye.